son. Great commentating so. with you. I'll try to make it back next week, and I'll be out of here. And so you can follow me uh, on Twitter at the Black Blur. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave you all. That's all good here. Let's go into loser semis. Anyways, guys, let's go on to the loser semi match: Zenny versus Rich Browns, and it was sent here into losers by Master Mario, and of course, Rich Brown was sent into losers by Nico. Both out there for a vendetta against the Shoke main. We're gonna possibly get comeback. There's the down air immediately sending Rich Brown high into the sky. Get the back air. <laughs> Up smash, we'll do it. No, Stan Stanley. I, I swear to God, Stan. All right, never mind. That's all good. All right, Master Mar. I I'm sorry, Zenyu looking for an opposition here, but he's not gonna find much. But uh, it all comes down to the fact that he does is up and stock against Rich Brown. Later. Don't let me do it by myself. So far, a couple up airs. Zenyu looking to continue this possible combo here. Master Mario is really keeping up the pressure with these up airs and yeah. juggling him, keeping him in the air the entire time. Yeah, Zenyu, I'm pretty close. We got two Mario's out here that the same, oh almost gosh. the same strength. Yeah, and that. That, that up smash does up tilt, man, because that, that looked really quick. That, that, was, like a that was up smash. Well, he flings the Pikmin around, dude. They all look fast. All right, what's Master Mario going to do on the ledge? Oh, that's good parry. I'm like, Master Mario, like, well, hold up, bro. Let me double check the name here. It's Zenyu. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I mean, Zenyu? My bad. Yeah, usually usually the shoe would be the other foot here sometimes. Yeah. But, I mean, this time Zenyu was the one walking away with a victory here and putting Master Zenyu in Master Mario's seat. Right. Back throw and what is he gonna do? Is he gonna? He's gonna let him get on the ledge for free. Okay, setting up a couple back airs, trying to play it safe. Mario back airs kind of honestly feel like a sword. Right. He's just able to hit the shield, able to hit you there, able to space himself out there. Right. I kind of like how the way that Zenyu is kind of disregarding the Pikmin. You know, he has so much of it here, so he shouldn't be really consider them being attached here. What's he gonna do on the ledge? He's gonna roll into up tilt. Gonna catch Zenyu off guard. Oh, the back throw? That will not take it either the high percents. Okay. Yet again, a couple more back airs. He's finally gonna put enough pressure on Rich Brown just to get that stock. Zenyu turning in extra credit homework. I mean, at this point, I kind of like this is what he's looking for, right? That fireball to find in the lead here. It's an up air, no forward air. He immediately just comes back to the stage just to hold it. I feel like it's really hard for Olimar to get stage control and to be able to establish, like, his Pikmin and all that when, like, we have a Mario right here just throwing out aerials and just oppressing him with everything he's trying to do. Yeah, exactly right. Like, he gets the Pikmin, right, but he doesn't really get to use them. <laughs> no. And then there's a disrespect just killing one of his Pikmin right in front of him. Oh, and that up smash almost taking it against Zenny, but still living narrowly. He even goes for the cape to stop the Pikmin from coming in. Angle. Ooh, Ooh, good throw. Forward throw. Keep him off. Good fireballs. And... Tries to go for the stage spike, but doesn't quite get it. It's the background stage, though. Tries to go for the downer and immediately. Zenyu's so relentless at this moment. He's not giving him any space. Oh, oh no. And he, I kind of respect it, too, because he wanted to get away from that situation. Like, he right. knew, like, hey, man, Zenyu's just not going to stop at this ledge here. So I kind of want to get away from it. But, of course, Zenyu, because of that, stopping Richbound from making a recovery here. This entire time, uh, Zenyu is just keeping Rich Brown on the ledge. He's yeah. not letting him do anything, not letting him get back. And then once he gets back on stage, Zenyu just runs at him the entire time. Exactly. And because Zenyu had a much of a lead, right, he could literally just disregard the Pikmin being attached to him, doing damage to him. Right. And like you said, right, if he's off the stage, he doesn't get the opportunity to pull the Pikmin out as much. And even if he does, he can't really use much of them. Right. And Game 2 is going to be on Town and City. Oh, oh my, my god, that was some serious. Double up smash into up air. No, some serious 0 to 40 in like less than 10 seconds. 
Yeah, Olimar now not having any lag on his up smash. Oh wow. Oh nice, good pivot grab. From what I'm from what I'm told, the Pikmin grab of Olimar uh, is all determined by how many Pikmin he has. Okay. So the range of that when he goes for pivot grab or dash grab is determined by how many Pikmin he has. From what I've been told, it's still gonna love that myself. Ooh, really good aggressive option. Ooh, almost gets the down and unfortunately Zeno pulling back from there trying to make the recovery. All that because Rich Brown decided to go with that aggressive option trying to go to the ledge. And Zenyu taking the other stock with forward smash. They're just kind of dancing around each other, throwing aerials in spaces where the other player might go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, really good forward air. Not gonna spike off the stage. Oh my god. It's like he's like, hey, you're on the platform, I will just go for it. Yeah, look at Anything these, to get you off. Look at all these hitboxes he's just throwing out, and it's hitting almost every time. Fireball, the flood, it push Olimar away, then you with the shield air, down throw into back air, that and that air. whistle barely saving him though. And up smash, gonna take it, gonna take Rich Brown second stock. Oh, now here goes the Mario combos. He's just following his drift every time. Yeah, that's, that's what he's been doing, right? He's been he's so keen to read the drift. Zenyu is so good at juggling and just sharking whenever, wherever Rich Brown wants to go. Right, dude. And Olimar doesn't have some of the, one of the best. This doesn't even have great landing tools. It's the price of this. Usually the price of some zoning characters as well. Okay, double down air, but not will find much. Leading in with neutral air. There's a landing. Edge guard for Zenyu, but Rich able to narrowly escape that one. 114% to his name. He's got to make something happen. It's got to be today. Or should have been yesterday because it is 1.30 in the morning, roughly. And what's Rich Brown going to do on the ledge? Oh, oh. Short, short range, man. Magnet hands were not... Magnet was, hands aren't that much in the game anymore. Yeah, that magnet hands not included. Looks like they just ran out of battery. Okay. And this... Really good setup for, for Rich Brown, the two purples. Shield, I like wow. trying to go for auto smash out of shield there. Cape, yeah. and he sees the roll. Waited for him, and then Rich Brown gave in with the roll. Mm -hmm. And Zenyu punishing with an up smash. Gonna take game two. I see a roll card, and I raise you an up smash card. And that will beat it out, man. That's poker for you. Oh, we're gonna go game three. Oh, it's gonna run it back. Town City, of course. Town City has a high ceiling. Yes, it does. And compared to Smash Four, so having that high ceiling does allow for different plays for Rich Brown because he was able to survive those. I don't want to say juicy, but they're also disgusting Mario combos. Yeah, from I'm the guessing. Board. I'm guessing Zenyu probably banned FD. Yeah. So Rich Brown probably took him to this stage just to have another FD element. Right. Like, of course, for those of you who don't know, like, the platforms don't really move up and down. Um, they just go, they just go away after a hot minute. So that's the thing about the platforms. They're just more static right. now. Um, but that's the thing about, you know, having the stage for Zenny, right? He's able to use these platforms to run around. I see now the platforms are moving away. So now there's a little bit of FD action going on. I've noticed Rich Brown is kind of just running away, throwing Pikmin, throwing out forward smashes, mm -hmm. and keeping Zenyu out of his space. And he's going to get that F smash, going to yeah. kill Zenyu with only 24%. That's the dynamic of like what we're seeing with stage pick, right? Like now, because it's back to the, the the platforms, right? Like Rich is just trying to hold the offensive ground here. Zenyu doesn't have much platforms to work with because they're all at the sides right. of the stage, right? So that is forcing Zenyu to more or less play into Rich's zone. And like you said, it's causing him to use these forward smash and just deal damage to Zenyu. Oh, okay. and Rich Brown, I could tell he's really reading uh, Zenyu and he's reacting to how Zenyu wants to approach. And Zenyu is just kind of running in, trying to jump in, but Rich Brown kind of spacing himself just quite away to catch his landing. And catching whenever he, he does an empty jump. Or yeah. whenever Zenyu does an empty jump. Neutral turn to fourth throw. Oh, and 
Probably forward smash. Look at how much damage Rich has done already. Oh, and Oof. the up smash out of shield gonna get send you second stock. Mm -hmm. There's the platforms, and you can even play around with the platforms in this part of the stage transformation here. And that forward air, in, or that up air on the ledge is so safe for Rich Brown. Down smash coming out of that back air. And he's looking for an opportunity to take care of Rich Stock. He doesn't have too much percent where he can still make the comeback back throw. Won't take Oh, will take it, of back course. Back throw is going to kill. I'm guessing oh. it's because uh, Town and City has a smaller edge because the stage is big. Yeah. I don't oh, know. Oh, what? oh what okay. This? Where are we what? going, man? Uh, jab infinites across the stage? That's is this Smash Forward pre patch box? Yeah. Oh, my jab, God. Jab, jab into jab, jab. Jab, jab into jab, jab. Oh, man. It looks like uh, Al had to get something here. Cool thing to importantly to know about how stage sizes work is that you can see the radar on the corner whenever you set oh, off like oh, that. It gives you a you're off the the platform yeah. by Rich Brown. Gonna oh, take Zenyu in a game four. Yeah. Like we said earlier, you know, stage choices do matter and this one will really yeah. matter for Rich Brown because it didn't give Zenyu the platforms to even though he had platforms to extend some combos in the tri platform right. tri sorry, tri platform um part of the stage, right? Um, it's the initial, the rest of the stage that really gives Zenyu the nowhere to run kind of. It also gave it also gave Rich Brown space to move more and to just run away from Zenyu. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing, right? Like you, you have. Yes, Mario still has great you know, like combos from the triplat right, right formation, but it's only gonna last long enough for a short amount of time, but when you get the rest of the stage transformation, like, that's gonna be different. Game 4 gonna be on Smash Bros. Still a classic here in terms of Smash Brothers. Right. A staple now, and honestly, what's staple more than Smash Bros is that platform. No has it's gonna be staple and static in the middle. Ooh, really good down air by uh, Rich Brown, just swatting him away and getting out of the situation with an aggressive option. There's a back air. And you're trying to close the gap here out the corner, and Rich able to sneak in. I like how he uses the whistle there for extra measures to get some armor. More like invincibility, though, because that's what that whistle does. Yeah. Okay, then you're able to just jump around here, and the reset on the jab. Oh, that purple going through Zenyu's fireballs. And purple gonna kill off of the the stage. Wow! Ooh, double up smash into forward air. Gonna get a quick 43%. I mean, you said and another forward smash. You said it yourself, Stanley. I mean, the fact that Olimar's like smash tags have a lot, a significantly less in like compared to Smash Four uh, allows for some combos. Oh man, he was wow. looking to catch up the landing. Kill. And then you flexing the jab there. Rich Bounce, even though Zenyu finally has Rich Bounce and even stock the percents here, are changed. And that down air. Yeah, gonna get a grab confirmed from a Nair at early percents for Mario. Oh, here's another grab. How much is he gonna get off of Ooh, that? Oh my gosh. Almost got that forward, and unfortunately enough for Rich Bounce, he did not DI out where he might have messed his doom. Oh, well, really good fade back back here. Gonna take Zenyu's second stock again. I can tell he, he keeps getting him with these fadeback back airs when he's on the ledge. Yeah. Because now, oh, there's a forward air. No. The equalizer immediately happens here. All the effort that Rich has put in has definitely been just discarded. He's oh, no. inching ever towards victory, but Rich Brown's still fighting for game five. Okay. Yeah, Rich Brown just going to keep playing his game. He's going to keep throwing out these hitboxes, these forward smashes, and... Just throwing out all his Pikmin, his entire arsenal, just to keep Zenyu out. Okay, tossing him in, and that's the thing about right, throwing in the Pikmin, is they attach to you and deal damage over time, right. but they also um, you know, are a projectile tool. And, oh, Ooh. that fade back back here again, yeah. and... 
so close, but Zeng's still living, man. Zeng just needs a couple neutral wins here, and it could be close oh for it. Gets the God. back and almost finds the forward air. Really good tech by Rich Brown. Oh, there's oh, a double purple Oh, no. Again. And he's still oh, able he to survive. I was going to get in, though. We keep our jumps in 2019, man. Now Zenyu has him on the ledge. It's going to be the opposite situation. And oh, I like really it good though. whistle. Really good whistle getting out of this situation. Down throw. No back air. Zenyu oh, able to read the landing yeah. there. And the DI even shows up from Rich in real life. Oh, unfortunate stuff, man. But Zenyu is a good sport and kind of just discusses how that DI went down. In that